Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget to grab your booties because it's cold out there. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to the first free-for-all Friday in February, which also happens to be Groundhog Day. So first up on the agenda, I want to discuss this. I talked about this with you guys last year, but for some reason or another, every single year on Groundhog Day, Netflix does not have the movie Groundhog Day available. For some reason or another, it is available almost every single other day of the year, except for on the holiday of Groundhog Day, the movie is not on here. And staying on the topic of Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day, next week my life basically becomes that movie. You see, starting next week on February 8th, we begin to do something that takes up about a month and a half of time, and I have done this every single year of my entire life. My dad's done it for the past 40 or so years. You guys that have been around on the channel know exactly what I am talking about, but needless to say, I'm going to be extremely busy for the next month and a half or so, so that is why I had decided to end Adventure Wednesday Season 5 this week, and also Thungry Thursday Beer of the Week Season 2 is going to be ending this week as well. It just gives me a little extra time to catch up on things that I need to do and also to do extra jobs and stuff that I need to do to make a couple of extra bucks while we do this repetitive thing for pretty much every single day for the next month and a half. But in the meantime, while those two shows are on their season breaks, I decided that I wanted to do a six or seven part mini series of what we are going to be doing over the following month. I kind of had this whole idea to film basically an entire week's worth of stuff and then compose it into one single episode that I will air the following week showing what we did all the way leading up to the big event, which is the unveil of what we are working on. But stay tuned for that. I'm hoping in two weeks I will have the first episode out. If everything goes according to plan, I'm just waiting on permission or approval from two separate places that I need to do filming at to make this happen. This past week, I brought you up to the Ice Castles of Lincoln, New Hampshire. If you guys didn't see that episode of Adventure Wednesday, I would recommend checking out. This place was absolutely awesome. I will throw the link up here or down below in the description. Besides from that, as you guys may notice, I am still dealing with my finger injury on my crazy, creepy hand, which I also did a video about. I will put the link up here or down below as well. Like I said, I'm not too entirely sure what I did to this finger right here, but let me just put the camera down. I do have to apologize. I don't have my tripod out, but I do believe that right here, this joint and also this knuckle or joint is broken in this finger right here. I will take this off if I can get it off. I'm trying to leave this splint on because this is a lot cheaper than going to a hospital or anything like that. But as you can see, it is looking a little better. I can move my finger a little bit more, but the as far as the pain goes and not being able to sleep because I went for about two nights where I couldn't sleep before I finally decided enough was enough, the pain has decreased. Like I said, the movement hasn't really increased at all, but hopefully in time that will fix itself. But speaking of time, we are coming up on the end of today's episode, and before I close this episode out, I want to show you some crazy footage that I captured this week, both involving raccoons. The first clip here is a little hard to see, so I'm going to play it twice, but basically we're pulling into the driveway and this raccoon went running down, ran all the way into the back behind a snow pile that was there, and then decided to peek its head up, so you can kind of see it on the left-hand side of the screen. The second clip here comes from my mom's house. I was up there watching the house last week, watching the animals, and I had let the dog out the night before that I took this clip, and he spent a lot of time smelling and sniffing around where the fence was. So the next night when I was up there to let the dog out, I opened up the back door, and there was this massive raccoon. I kid you not, this was the biggest raccoon I have ever seen. The thing easily had to have weighed about 40 pounds or so. My guess is it was probably pregnant. Anyways, the dog started walking down these steps on the back porch and looked over at this raccoon here. The raccoon looked over at the dog. The dog kind of growled and then backed all the way up to the door, at which point I opened the door, let the dog in the house, ran into the house, grabbed my cell phone, and that is this clip right here. I apologize, the lighting isn't that good, but this raccoon basically made its way over to the fence, looked at me again, showed absolutely no fear, climbed up the fence as slow as a sloth, climbed up the tree, got to a branch that was probably... I'd say a foot or so higher than my head and then just started looking back at me, peeking its head in and out. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I will see everybody tomorrow for Story Saturday. Peace.